Okay, so we're going to basically get them from a turtle from when he's across on this side. Okay, so the first thing you want to do all the time is defend in your neck. So I like to defend across it, that's it. You can't get his hand in for the choke. This one blocks the hook. And I can obviously I can move them around as much as I want. Okay, this hand can slide up there. But you need to make sure that you get a hook in on both sides and you kind of get this hand that's close, that you're closest to underneath the chin and on your neck. Okay, so this is how I'm defending. So his head comes in, he takes a side ride. So he's wet. I can feel where he's waved is. It's about the middle of my back. And what he's done is he's put his hand right the way over the side here so it catches all of it. Okay, so what I need to basically do is I'm going to post with the left leg. I'm turning back the walls. I'm not going to leave it here, but I'll take it that far for a moment. So just without it, from here, I'm defending across. Now the feeling is putting the hand there, okay? So I'm going to take that one away and I'm going to grab it, guarding the neck the whole time. And then I'm going to post with that leg, okay? Which allows me to take the head right away on the his all comes with it. So from here, okay, again, I'm defending the whole time. I can feel what Ed's done there. Let's put his hand across. So I'm going to grab the whole of his wrist. And I post with the left foot. His head comes right way on the The arm ends up there on the back. Okay, which is too good of an opportunity to drive the knee through. I'm using the stomach to hold that arm in place and I over under grip. Now the important thing is here when you over under, I'm going to pull him back in the back mount, but I need to skip in with the right leg and I need to kick it out so that as I pull it back mount. I've got the controls I need. The controls I need are always bottom leg with the hook in, okay? The top one can follow it, and the bottom leg is the most important one, okay? So I've got two hooks in, and I can cross the ankles there, it doesn't matter. Always an overhook with the bottom arm, okay, which makes it hard for the shoot on it. Always an underhook with the top arm, okay? And the idea of that is that if everything paces that way, this arm is what's going to keep me on. So do the whole thing again. So from here, I'm defending the cross. Okay, he's not going to get that arm around my neck. That's the big important thing. He can't get that arm around the neck. Now, I feel what he's done there with his left, his right arm on it. He's left it dangling at the side. So, guarding the neck, catch a hold of his wrist. I need to create a little bit of space to get on the knees. Post with the left leg. And then I'm underneath. Okay. It's a bit unrealistic to you move your body in straight away, but I'm doing it just so you can see the technique. Arm up his back, immediately I'm going to drive that leg in, I'm holding his arm in place with the stomach. Step between his feet with that leg, is a over under grip, and again, I'm just going to skip the right leg in. As I pull him off me, straight away that right leg's going to kick out. So I make sure that I get the right hook in. Okay? Again, over hook with the bottom arm, under hook with the top arm, which is the way I want it. And I've got a back mount. Just one more time. So do this, this way so you see what I'm doing that way. So from here, defend the cross, down the neck, catch the wrist, and go underneath, shoot it away, drive the hips in, so that he can't get that arm out. So I'm not going to go under, step to his leg, so you sit that on me. So I'm sagging my body weight that way, which is what pulls in over. And straight away that right hook is out. Okay, from here, you just locked in for a good back mount. Where you can switch it for any manner of choke you want. 